In the year 2040, one hero fights to save our dying planet, the Phantom. The world in the year 2040 faces powerful forces of evil, the most powerful being Maximum Inc., the megacorporation owned by the Madison family. Rebecca Madison now runs Maximum Inc., with her son Max Jr. and her chief of security, Graf. They are not what I'd call a happy family. Your father will know what to do about the Phantom. My father is dead. I've told you never to say that. We pulled him out of the East River, Mother full of poison from the train wreck, torn purple fabric clutched in his fist. The Phantom only killed your father's body, but his mind still lives. You call this a mine? He will live again. Rebecca. My love, I'm here. The world is dying. I know, my love. It is time for the maximum era. Your plan is still perfect. Except for one thing I'd hoped never to tell you. The Phantom has returned. No! I now know of Rebecca's plans to create a biot with her dead husband's memories in its database. So far, she's failed. She must be a very lonely woman. Push the button, Frank. Live, my love. Live! I am sworn to stop her evil, but I can pity her, too. Sixteen years ago, Maxwell Madison Sr. and my father both died in a terrible, mysterious disaster. In a sense, Max Sr. is still alive. In Maximum Inc., in his wife, and in his son. And Rebecca might just figure out a way to make him live again as a biot. Stark. This was our home, son. Sixteen years ago. So much has changed. My mother told me you were dead. I was waiting. I wanted to kill the Phantom. All my dreams about to come true. But I was only a child. And the Phantom... The Phantom! Yes! Grand Central Station. That's where I was going last night. That is where I must go now. I can't stay here. Sector Zero is poisoned beyond reason. It's madness to go inside. Come with me, son. Everything will be all right. That's what Baudelaire always says to me. Nothing should be able to grow in this sector. What happened here? That's what we'd all like to know. You! You will never get the shipment. What shipment? What? Fire! You stole my life's dream. You stole my son's childhood.
one clear shot. No! No! Take this! Silence! Now we each have someone to lose, Phantom! Too many lives have been lost already. Give me the laser, I can help you understand. Liar! I remember it all now. I was here, waiting for the train, the shipment. No, Madison was on the train. The Phantom was waiting at the station. You weren't there. Only the purple ghost rode the train. The ghost who walks and kills. If you remember everything, then tell me what happened. Tell me why you left me! The Phantom never kills. I was waiting for the train. The shipment had to arrive safely. The future of the world depended on it. I saw the Phantom leave the train. The Phantom sabotaged it. The Phantom made it crash! I heard the screams of the dying. I saw their blood on your hands. I reached for you. You were my only hope. And then, and then. Died. I remember everything now. I am a machine. I have no dreams. I have no son. No! You came back! Don't! to dismiss Max Jr. as a deeply twisted child, but he is much more than that. It's been said that love forces people to change, that to be loved, we must become what those who love us want us to be. Dutiful child, best friend, faithful lover, loyal protector. It must be difficult for people to remember that they're supposed to be all those things. Especially if, in their desperation to be loved, they're forced to change into someone completely different. At least, that's what Baudelaire says. All systems fully functional. Then let's go for a walk. Service alert. Safety systems have not been tested. If I wanted to be safe, I'd take my medication. Make a note to adjust the aiming sights. I'll be back soon, Baudelaire. After I've had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Mother. Full Team Epsilon, fire! That's Max's Legion unit. Grab to Rebecca. Come in! Find my son, Graf! I won't abandon the building without him. The intruder is your son. What? Max? I'm not Max, Mother. My name is Legion. Fifty-seven assault myots destroyed. Three floors shut down, and my office is a mess. But you told me you wanted a remote control buyout that could destroy anything for Cyberville. Only I say when to destroy. Now stop interfering where you don't belong. You and your little cat, too. Next time, I'll just knock on her door. Ah! What's the matter with this thing? Baudelaire, it won't come off. I'm, I'm trapped in here. Baudelaire, wake up! Baudelaire, you've got to help me. You've got... 
This just in. Enforcer Analyticals are saying that the giant Viats are following a classic search pattern. But what they're looking for is anybody's guess. So send your guess to What the Viats Want Contest. Care of Channel 880. And if your guess is as good as mine, you can already be a winner! Viat signals are coming from the maximum data system that runs virtual reality tests for the whole company. I understand. Once I'm in the training sphere, you'll have to send my virtual presence directly to the source of the signals. I'll stop the biots there, in virtual reality. Oh, it's lovely, Max. Where are we? I'm... I'm not sure. Then let's go exploring. Just the two of us. Wait! I forgot about finding Baudelaire. Relax, Max. You're taking care of that in the real world. You'll find him. Look, lady, I can't force him out. He's got to want to come back. You've got to think of something important to Max that you can only have in the real world. I never thought I'd say this, Graf, but you'd better go bring me... Baudelaire. No, Baudelaire doesn't like the dark. I won't go in there! Too late, Max. This isn't your dream anymore. It's mine. You created me in your own image, and just like you, I don't want to be alone either. We're all living in a virtual world, Max, and I am a virtual girl. That's enough. The program's ending right now. No! Max brought me to life, and now he must stay and give me input forever! While you two get acquainted, I'll just... No! Reality is a dangerous place to get lost in, Max. It's time to go home. Home? Now I remember. I played here as a child. My father tore this park down to make way for the maximum building. But why did I come back here? All the time you were trapped in virtual reality, you were searching for something. And because your mind was linked to those giant biots, they carried out that search in the real world. Searching for something? Of course. Now I know what. In here, you overgrown toaster. Hey, sometime this year, okay? Oh, it's the day. What day, Max? What made it so special? <laughs> here you go, Max, my boy. A friend all your very own. That's just a reconstructed memory of something that happened 16 years ago, Max. If you really want to see your cat again, you have to... Baudelaire! <laughs> you always turn up just when I need you. Max, you have to stop fighting reality. Oh, well, I gave up my fight against reality a long time ago. When you decide to return, use this to send me a signal. I'll help you find your way back. I've got nothing to go back for. Right now. For you, Max, dreams of your childhood are more real than anything here. Maybe it's better that way. Whatever was controlling the Biots has been destroyed. No. He found what he was looking for. That's all. Max, darling, it's safe to come out now. Brother's not angry with you anymore. Please come out, Max. Max! Max, come back! Maxwell, come home this minute! <laughs> you can keep playing, my boy. It isn't time to go home yet. But I am home, Father. <laughs> I'm right where I belong.
Graft is Rebecca Madison's lethal weapon, half man and half machine. And that's a sad comment on our world. Juice configuration. Processing. They were called the Resource Wars because for the first time there was no enemy. Only ourselves. It wasn't until I had the rare chance to see the past as Graft had seen it, as Graft had lived it, that I finally saw the past, the present, and the future through Graft's eyes. This is Graft! I found the evac! Scanners show battle bots closing. Return to your unit! There are children in there! Return to your unit, Lieutenant. That's an order! And in the midst of that insanity, they called me a hero. As if I knew what that word meant. Back then, they called me human, too. And I don't know what that word means anymore. I... Don't be so formal, Major. Call me Max. Uh, yes, sir. Max, sir. <laughs> and drop the sir, too. I'm proud to have you working for me now. By the way you saved those children in Antarctica, you're a hero. Uh, just doing my job, sir, uh, Max. That's why I hired you, soldier. You're going to do a job for me now. You see, Major, Maximum's got this little problem down in the Amazon. But why wipe out the native population? They're not our enemy. They're in the company's way, Graft. That makes them our enemy. Listen, my friend. There's not enough of this world left to go around for everybody. So everyone's got to take what he can, however he can. The soldiers sent against us are not human. Maximum is using biots. They're machines. Can't be stopped. Then are we lost? No. No one has the right to destroy you. I'll show you how to fight and win. You would betray your company to help us? Why not? The worst they can do is kill me. Rebecca turned him into a twisted shell. If you want me, come and get me. Destroy it! If you say not bad for an old lady, I'll whack your knuckles. I was going to say jump! Zerker in the combat armor thinks you're the Phantom. Why? Because you use my system to break into his. This is the Enforcers, Phantom. Come out with your hands up. No! He's mine! It's wrong to access any data system without permission. What a load of scab. You were trying to break into Maximum the same as I was. <laughs> well, I have my reasons. Well, so do I. This way! This way! You'll be safe in the lower levels. You're just in time. Those people need protection. You work with the Phantom. Do not interfere in things you do not understand. But I want to understand. Professor, have the citizens been evacuated? Yes, the Enforcers are protecting them. Good. Now we can launch a real attack. Attack? What kind of chance do you have against that? I mean, other than overriding his control interface. Uh -huh. I already thought of that, but I need a bioneuronic cross connector to make it work. You mean like this? I know it looks kind of funny. I made it myself, but it works. Wow, optical sampling! Wait for my signal. Phantom! Show yourself, coward! Get me the demolition team. I want this sector flattened. Not if I flatten you first. Damage control, report! Have I been hit? Coming right up, big brain.
Let's go for a new high score. <laughs> he shoots, he scores! Graft is shooting his own biots? Not exactly. And now we clear the board. We are both warriors, Graf. I salute the hero you were, and I have compassion for what you have become. Perhaps one day, you'll find the strength to free yourself from Rebecca Madison. This weapon is a million times more destructive than the biots you faced in the Amazon, back when you were still... I don't want your pity. All right, no pity. But I think you'll want this. It's the memory download from your biot double. Five minutes to plasma ignition. What's the catch? No catch. They're yours. I'm giving them back. You've got to want something from me. I saw some of your memories. All I want from you is what you want from yourself. You said it yourself, Graft. In the Amazon. Fight for what's right. For justice. Four minutes to plasma ignition. What are you going to do? I've done what I was ordered to do. The particle cannons connected to the power grid. That was my job. And now I'm gonna get out of here before the plasma ignites. I don't care what you do, but stay away from the yellow wire. You pull that out, the cannon won't work. Graft! Thanks. For what you did for those children in Antarctica. I'll always remember that. That's the problem. So will I. And so I have learned the hardest lesson of all. I have learned to see through the eyes of my enemies, and I am stronger because of it. <laughs>